to travel now though and we are so excited to be giving away an amazing week-long trip for two to Hawaii's iconic Waikiki. You can go to our website for all of the details and how to enter. Debbie has been on an eight-day island hopping adventure in Hawaii and is back to tell us all about it. Now I think Debbie when you got this gig when it came up every one of us here in the crew were just like oh, we were so jealous it looked incredible. It was it was genuinely an amazing experience I can't wait to share everything we did with you but our lucky winner I'm so excited we get to give this trip away because our lucky winner is going to experience that shopping and the buzz of Oahu's Waikiki Beach. They're going to be staying where we stayed when we were over there at the cool contemporary boutique hotel, the Lalo. So it's a mid-century modern oasis in the heart of Waikiki. Sounds it is cool. gorgeous. But first we wanted to show you the other parts of Hawaii. So there are other parts of Hawaii apart from Oahu. We start our journey on the edge of one of the five volcanoes that make up the big island, the island of Hawaii. Take a look. The glow of a live volcano in the pre-dawn darkness is one of the few things that makes getting up before 5am a pure joy. Watching the sun rise behind the crater, priceless. We're standing on the edge of Kilauea, about a kilometre and a half from the main crater of one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. It's actually erupting now, and it doesn't look like it is, but it is. You can tell because there's a plume of gas and steam and ash coming out of the volcano. And if we were close, in the closed area, which of course we can't be, you would look down that vent and see a 10-acre lake of lava, molten rock orange and red and spattering and gassing and very noisy and just an amazing thing. The lava lake fluctuates. Right now it's about 100 feet below the vent rim so we can't see it in the daytime but when you come back at night or in the morning before the sun comes up that 10 acre lava lake is casting the most amazing glow on the night sky. It just it really takes your breath away. Good place to watch the sun come up. It's a great place but don't tell anybody that's a ranger's inside tip. The park is a World Heritage Site and attracts around 2.6 million visitors every year. Kilauea is more of a shield volcano and it had a dome actually on top of it but there was a huge summit eruption which caused everything to sink and collapse. And so that's why you see this big depression here, this big caldera which has fallen in on itself from all the weight of the rock. I really do love it, I'm drawn here. And when I'm on holiday, I typically take my vacations here on this island um, because I really love it. It's so large um, and there's so much to do. She's not kidding, from the historic coastal town of Hilo, where we had a very Hawaiian breakfast in a diner famous for its corned beef hash and giant bowls of raw fish poke. Oh, that looks beautiful. Before visiting a macadamia nut farm, most people are familiar with our chocolate covered macadamia nuts and our dry roasted lightly salted. But we also have a honey roasted, um, Maui onion and garlic flavored. We have a Kona coffee flavored macadamia nut. So we really feel that we make the best macadamia nut product there is. And I think once you've tried it, you'll probably agree. Then up to the National Park, staying at Kilauea Lodge, a YMCA camp turned boutique accommodation. It's minutes from the volcano crater and known for its cosy log fires and brie cheese entree. Today's drive is around 150 kilometres, volcano to coastline, with a couple of stops along the way. The award-winning Ka'u Coffee Mill processes its beans on site. 90% are washed, the rest either left to dry naturally or semi-washed. When the green bean on the inside has a moisture content to it that's high, it acts like a sponge. So when we leave that mucilage layer on there, some of that sugar gets absorbed into the green bean, giving you a slightly fruitier profile yeah, of coffee. it smells like wine at the moment. It smells whiny. Yeah, and that's because of all the sugars yeah. and all of that type of stuff. So it has a very distinct um, odor yeah, uh, to it, very much so. Yeah. The fruit from 200 acres of coffee trees painstakingly harvested by hand. It's very labor intensive, but there's a few farms that machine pick, and there's a few of them around. The problem is the machine can't tell the real red berries from the half red berries, so it's the quality of the coffee suffers. Here in Kau, because we do have high quality coffee, uh, everything is hand picked to just ensure that quality. I mean, there's nothing like the human eye and the human hand no, no. Uh, uh, to do this type of work. Hands-on is, is really part of it. Uh, even our roasters are manual. There's no computers on our roasters, so the roaster is just in there and 
really getting, uh, getting uh, the feel of uh, each batch uh, that they're roasting. Down to the ruggedly beautiful coast, at Punalu'u Beach, threatened green sea turtles bask on the black sand. Further along the coast, Pu'u Honua Ohunono, known historically as the place of refuge and still considered a sacred site where Hawaiian traditions are kept alive. Royal Kona Resort sits right on the waterfront, looking rather like a sleek cruise ship. 430 rooms are spread over seven levels. Down below, guests are arriving for the luau as the sun sets over the water. The traditional earth oven, the imu, has been slow cooking our dinner since nine in the morning. The pork is added to the array of dishes on the buffet table. Entertainment with a distinct Pacific Islands feel. If you're lucky, you'll get pulled up on stage for a dance lesson. Or to accept a Māori challenge, just like Glenn, our cameraman. The grand finale, the fire dance from Samoa. Over breakfast, as the sun rises over the active volcano, Hualale, the view of the open Pacific Ocean is gorgeous. Oh, that looks so beautiful. So you start in a volcano, end with a luau, and you brought some of the coffee back from the place you visited yes, as well. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Ka'u Coffee has given us some coffee, and Mona Lois with some macadamia nuts as well, a taste of Hawaii right in the studio here, Yum. so it's fantastic. But look, every single one of the islands we went to had something unique and special and different, and we can't wait to share that with you over the next few weeks. Um, but in the meantime, check out Hawaii Tourism's New Zealand website for ideas, inspiration for your next Hawaiian holiday. And for the best deals on getting there, I recommend you fly with Hawaiian Airlines. As soon as you hop on board that Aloha, you're immediately on holiday. It really is great. They fly to 12 US cities and beyond. They go to the six Hawaiian islands, flying five days a week from Auckland. So check out the website, hawaiianairlines.co.nz, for the dates that suit you and for the best deals that come up as well. Oh, thank you. I cannot wait. I've never been to Hawaii, but it's definitely on my list of places I need to visit. And, of course, check out the website, as we mentioned, for your chance to win that amazing dream holiday for two to Waikiki. We'll see you again next week. Great, thanks.